Hi, my name is Varalika Mahajan. I'm currently pursuing my master's in data science at Columbia University in the city of New York. I'm also a part-time graduate assistant at Northeast Big Data Innovation Hub. Today, we are going to talk about data exploration and visualization with the help of a case study on COVID data. For this, we will be utilizing a COVID data set offered at Kaggle. The link is provided over here in the PPT. It is collected by our world data, uh, uh, our world in data, and it has uh, different uh, columns which include a wide uh, variety like vaccination information, cases information, death information, and much more. It gives us a time series data, which is a daily data. So to see what is data visualization or data analysis. It is about being able to tell a story with your data. Storytelling with data is one of the most important aspect which people do not understand. Uh, our graphs should not just be random, but they should answer the most important question. So for this, it's first important to load the clean data, which means poke around with the data, see how many countries it covers, what is the duration of the data, what is the most recent uh, usage of vaccine in all countries, which are the countries with highest vaccination rate, which are the countries with lowest vaccination rate, and much more. So first, identifying what questions you want to answer, and do you have the data that will be able to answer these questions is the first step you need to begin with before starting your analysis. Okay. So now that we know these are our questions, let's begin with cleaning the data. The first step uh, to clean is to check if there are any null values. Use access value to specify if checking is made on rows or on columns. So, uh, or above you can see. So vaccination, vaccination data dot is null dot sum access is equal to zero. So this gives us if uh, how many values of uh, total vaccinations are none, how many people vaccinations are null, and so on. So it tells how many values in a column are null. Whereas over here, when we set up uh, a uh, vaccination data dot is null dot sum access equal to one, it tells us about the row. In one row, how many column values are missing, and so on. So it gives us the number of rows which have missing column values. This gives us how many uh, rows have missing column values for one given column. So we need to analyze both. Now, uh, after this, we need to think that which rows that have the most null values are not important to us and which of them can we draw. So over here, you can see. So uh, for some cases, you might draw. For some cases, you might need to replace it with the mean, median, or mode based on the column value and what it signifies. So over here, as we can see, the total vaccination is one of the uh, targeted columns. We should drop those record having null values for this column because it's an important column. I mean, it is a target column, so we can't replace it. So the ideal situation is to drop these rows. We'll have a little lesser data, but the data will be clean. Okay, now then the third step is to poke around with data, just getting to know your data a little. For example, see what all countries does it include, how many countries uh, does it include, which is 219, and what is the duration of data, what is the time um, range for which we have the entire data set. And it can be many other things like, um, you know, we'll get in detail, but any other column which gives you uh, like the name of vaccine, the vaccine categorization, or uh, maybe we can say uh, dosage one or dosage two, this category, how many uh, values of each one of we have, and so on. After this, we begin with the th uh, fourth most step, which is data query. Now let's see, tip let's try to answer typical questions which uh, arose in the beginning when we, we were planning to start. So after checking the data, we found each country has a record for each covered day. To get the most recent information, we want to keep the records that show the most recent information. We first try to set the condition on the most recent date, set it as 2021, 7, 28, as we have done above, as that is the largest value of the date column. That is the most recent value till when we have the date. The query result shows 74 rows, as you can see over here. This is different from the total number of countries. That suggests that for some countries, the most recent date is earlier than 2021, 7, 8. So this gives us a useful insight that not all countries have their data till this date and the last day available date of data may vary from country to country. Now, 
ahead of this. Now let's then we begin with plotting some graphs to help uh, visualize this data. However, it cannot you cannot get the right graph in one attempt. It is about identifying the norm uh, abnormalities in different graphs when you start viewing them. So over here you can see both the histogram plot of the total vaccination values and the skewness uh, score clearly indicate that the data is severely screwed as you can see there's just data between 0 to 0 0.2 and after that there are highly some records i think there's just one record of 1.6 because of which our graph is ranging till 1.6 so that is consistent with the real world situation there are gonna be one or two cases which will lead our graphs to be skewed where some countries will have a very high number of vaccination rate for example us and china they have an abnormally high uh, vaccination rate that is because they have the huge huge population and huge number of COVID cases. So we need to identify such a, uh, abnormalities using these graphs and see if the if you if there are important data points. Like in this case, it is an important information that needs to be delivered. So presenting this graph is not such a bad idea. However, for a case where it would have been an abnormally and not useful to detect any outcome, it is important to uh, eradicate them, remove them, and just view our data where it is highly clustered. Okay, now then we can uh, again plot the highest and lowest uh, vaccinated countries. So as you can see over here, we use bar chart to visualize the total vaccination numbers for the countries having the highest and lowest values. Like in the two plots on the right side, if we put those countries in the same chart, Due to the magnitude level difference, the bar for the lowest values are invisible, as you can see over here. A better visualization solution is to apply log transformation to the values first and then plot the transform value. So over here you can see initially it was very insignificant. This first bar is too long and the other uh, last four or five bars are too sm uh, small. So we are not able to get a clear insight. So after we perform log transformation and then plot it, it kind of shows us there's a better graph, a better view of the picture a better understanding of the scenario. So this can also be done using simple Python syntax given over here where you first log, transform the data and then call a bar chart on it. Okay, so now we have done some plots. What else can we do with the data? Now we need to see uh, which columns are important for our data. We zoom in the vaccination records in the US and drop the columns that we won't use. For example, if we are just uh, uh, doing an analysis for US, do we need other the country column? No, so we can drop it. The uh, source column or the ISO code uh, column? No, so we can drop it. So basically, if you are subsetting the data, then drop the irrelevant columns. This makes the computing faster and removes any unwanted noise in the data that may disturb your graphs and visualization and the uh, extent of your analysis. Now, for example, above we just plot uh, the uses of vaccines in US. Over here, you can see the blue line represent um, the total vaccinations and the orange line represents the people fully vaccinated from January to July. This gap represents how many vaccinations are going wasted and are not being utilized by the people. Another graph which we can... Um, a plot on a time series basis from January to July again is the daily vaccination uh, data, uh, up, raw data upon daily vaccinations. The line for daily uh, vaccinations raw is way more jaggy than daily vaccinations in the orange color here. This may be because the raw data is more noisy. The KDE plot suggests that the two set of values follow the similar distribution. Over here, we can see that the distribution is similar, but the raw data was more noisy. By removing the noise, by applying smoothening, we can achieve a way better graph, which will let us infer a lot more. So smoothening is another technique which is commonly used to help visualize and understand the data better. So we learned uh, log transformation and smoothening as two techniques to uh, uh, simplify the data and making it more meaningful. Now again, what else can we do? We can also see which countries use what vaccines. For this, we have written a simple code where we take the vaccination data, which is a data frame. We uh, pick out the column vaccination uh, vaccines and we check if it contains Moderna. If it contains Moderna and that's true, we 
print out the country names. So over here we have all the countries which are uh, all the unique countries which are giving uh, Moderna as a COVID-19 vaccination. This similarly we can do for any other vaccine like Covishield, Covaxin and see which vaccine is the most popular in which countries. So exploratory data analysis is about being flexible, seeing what all can you pick from the data. Now from above, how can we visualize the above uh, cal uh, thing which, which we are trying to view? So over here we were trying to see which vaccines are being used by which countries and how many countries. Now we can also visualize this data. If we simply compute an aggregation information, which is the total count of countries for each vaccine uh, vaccination, for example, here for, uh, for Moderna, for Johnson and Johnson, we get the value 63, 34, and we plot all of these in form of bar graph. This way we can identify which is the most commonly used vaccine and which is the least commonly used vaccine um, uh, uh, across the globe and not just in one country. So this is about how you can do any case study, pick any data set, perform an exploratory data analysis on it. Just keep the steps in mind, plan first how you want to tell the, tell your story using this data, then uh, fidget with your data, play with it and see what different results can you take out from it and then start plotting the data. Once you start plotting, you will realize if you need to apply some techniques like log transformation or smoothing, and as you move ahead, you will have more questions you will want to answer to so try to aggregate, summarize your data and build useful graphs and picturizations for clear and easy understanding to even a layman. So that's about it. Thank you so much.